Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm bringing you all along on a ridiculous project that has been on the back burner for a while and I just wanted to get done. So, y'all probably seen this. This is how I've set up this uh, Gatorade cooler deal to be a dehumidifier for all my 3D printing filaments. Um, but then I was thinking, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea to take the printer itself and put it in here as well? And then, you know, have mains power going into it so the printer can turn on. When it heats up, it's dehumidifying the air. I've got desk in there. It's just a really nice concept, but uh, there's a lot of little like details to figure out to make it work. But I was gonna go ahead and do a time lapse and bring y'all along to see if I could successfully get it fitted in there and everything wired in and not blow up my house. So here we go. <gasps> Okay, so a quick update. I just got all the wiring sorted, I think. Um, and I've plugged it in. And you can hear there's a fan that constantly runs to cool off the radiator up there. That fan is on all the time. And I think I'm okay with that because it'll help circulate the air and pass desk in to pull all the moisture out. I uh, could be totally wrong, but it makes sense so far. Also, uh, I've set this up. So there used to be a thermostat dealio that would kick on and off. Now the, the Freon is leaking or has leaked. Basically, I'll run this. I've tested it and it doesn't cool. And so basically the refrigeration portion of this refrigerator deal is broken, but that's fine because it still is an awesome cabinet that seals uh, air out. So I'm gonna turn that fan on, but then there's the thermostat that I've pulled apart. And then there's a little switch up here. And this switch, if I turn on the light, I still get power. I'm gonna get some new fluorescent bulbs for this. And then I'm gonna get a uh, sign up here that says like Netherbot or something cool. And so that'll light up whenever I turn that switch on here. And then I'll have lighting inside. And then this switch over here, that one turns on the second fan down here. I don't know if you can even see this. There's a fan. Uh, anyways, there's a fan right there, blowing air through that radiator. And I'm not gonna need that because I'm not going to be trying to refrigerate anything. So, I'll turn that guy off. And this guy will just always stay on. No big deal. And I'll be able to turn the lights on and off with this switch inside the cabinet. Uh, now, I think the glue has cooled off enough. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything back together and uh, we'll keep rolling. Okay, so I've done just a couple more little things to make this pretty cool. Um, I've routed the entire power for the entire fridge deal down here into a power strip that's here so I can turn everything off by just clicking that and it kills the entire thing. And then I've got more plugs I wanna plug in lights or whatever, uh, just to, like to have a power available next to the fridge deal. So that's cool. And then when I click that on, it goes ahead and runs power to the 24 volt power supply that runs my printer. And then I've also got a power strip in here if I want to plug anything in, like a, an adapter to cooler or I don't know. I'm thinking of some crazy stuff, but that is a power strip inside that I can access. And then the fan you can hear is kicked on because I decided that it was something I wanted to leave on. And 
There's my power for my Ultimaker, the blue light it means that there's power to the plug. All I gotta do is plug that into the back of my Ultimaker and I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting close. Okay, so I'm about ready to push the fridge dealio back into its spot and uh, print some stuff. However, I wanted to try this off first. This is pretty cool. This is a, one of those wireless uh, wall plugs. So I'll plug this into the wall, then I'll plug the fridge and everything else into this. And that way I can monitor the uh, power usage and I can turn it on and off at a schedule. So if I'm away from home, I can turn it off. Or if I'm coming, I can turn it on or whatever. Um, so this is pretty cool. I think this will help. Uh, eventually, I want to be able to like to put a Raspberry Pi and just do a ton of stuff autonomously through like wireless network, and um, I think this is the first step to doing that, and I think it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in, and we'll get it working. And I want to show you this cool app on my phone to show me some cool statistics on the power that's being consumed from the entire fridge and 3D printer and everything. So right here we've seen how long it's been on for, what time I turned it on, and this is cool. It has power usage, 52 watts, and then it helps estimate to see how much it's gonna charge you uh, money-wise for running that for an entire month. Um, this is kinda cool, so up here in the top right, if I click this button, it turns off the entire fridge. And then again, if I click the button on, it turns everything on. How cool is that? All right, so that does it for the fridge update. I'm gonna be trying to probably get a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint or some wireless printing uh, deal installed shortly, but uh, I'm excited to get some prints rolling and see if having an enclosure helps the print quality and uh, helps keep my filament all nice and dry. But that, does. oh, 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 last thing. I've got this. This is, uh, a the humidity readout so i've got a temperature from like where this module is i'm holding it, so it's 78 degrees in this room and then inside the cabinet it's 86. it's heating up because i'm running the power supply and the leds i haven't turned on the printer yet but i'm sure it'll get quite a bit hotter whenever i turn that on and then it gives me my percent uh humidity which is 47. it was at like i think just over 50 percent when i put everything in so it's slowly trying to uh, dry stuff out but yeah so i'll have this on my desk and I'll be able to monitor percentage uh, humidity and temperature and then with this I'll be able to turn everything on and off. Cool stuff. Alright, I will see you guys next time.